power of One Health is looking at the world, not just looking at humans, but looking at all life on the planet and the entire environment. One of the greatest challenges facing humanity is we have to figure out how to sustainably feed ourselves without destroying the natural world and without unleashing a lot of deadly diseases on ourselves. So there's this incredible overlap between human health and agriculture and the environment because the agriculture is the foundation of civilization and the environment is the foundation for all of life. And if we destroy our environment, we destroy our lives. <laughs> you know, that's the bottom line. One Health is the new norm. It's got to be the new norm. Is that because we've messed with the environment and ecosystems are not doing so well at controlling their disease organisms and the vectors of those disease organisms anymore, we're seeing outbreaks of infectious diseases that in some cases we just should not be seeing. Protecting animals, protecting plants, protects humans too even if we're not sharing the same disease organisms. We just, we need to live together. One Health is how the environment affects human animal health and how we are all connected. What I foresee doing is changing government structures, university structures, to link the practice of animal health, ecosystem health, and human health, and bring scientists with no silos to work together from different sciences into solving today's health problems. Then you have a situation where a physician is probably building on and possibly treating patients with something that has come because we've learned more from animals. Because of this whole idea of a One Health approach and realizing that we can do so much more together, certainly zoonotic medicine has brought the veterinary community together with the human medical community. One Health is efficient cities with good water and sewage and waste treatment and interconnected wild places all around them. With agriculture that's clean and efficient and where soils are building and getting deeper and richer and full of more organic material and full of all the different arthropods and worms that, and fungi and bacteria that need to live there to cycle all the nutrients around and around. And people are working on all these things and achieving in all these things right now.